Today, we're talking about planning your year ahead for success. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs with TomJacobs.com. First of all, before I get into this really great content for today, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you get updated every week when I come up with new videos. So make sure that you subscribe or go to my website, TomJacobs.com, and ask for some information and I'll keep you informed of different things that entrepreneurs need to be thinking about. And in today's video, what I want to talk about is how to plan for the year ahead. And this is a perfect time of year to really look back at the previous year and what you need to do to plan for the year ahead. Now, I'm sure you've all heard about the SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T, SWOT, Strength, Weakness, Opportunities, and Threats. And I think that is a great framework for getting your thoughts down on paper. You need to understand where, where are your strengths? What are you doing really, really well? And what can you capitalize on those strengths to do even better in the next year? But you need to get that written down first. All right. And I'll get back to that in a second. Then your weaknesses, you know, be pretty critical and you want to look at seeing what, what, what you've done in the past and what you could have done definitely could have done a lot better. And then what opportunities are out there so that you can look and see, is there a, a potential boost in another profit center or can you create another product? What can you do to make sure that you are successful going forward and taking advantage of those opportunities? And then the last and very, and not the least is, are there any new threats out there? Or what are the threats out there? Is there a new competitor in the market? Is there maybe an employee in your organization that might be sabotaging? Is there a client in your organization that might be sabotaging? So all of those things are in the threats category. You want to look at that. Now, once you have that all kind of analyzed, then you want to go back through and look at those strengths and how can you capitalize on those strengths and really being critical. So one of the strengths that we have at my fitness center and that I really pride myself on is our accountability. And that's keeping our clients accountable to getting the goals that they want. So one of the things that we always do is look at those accountability sessions and how can we make them better and more relevant for our client. So this past year, our trainers have come up with some really great ideas on how to do that and it's and it's great and it all comes from making sure that you understand exactly where your strengths are and then where can you capitalize on those going forward and then looking at your weaknesses be very very critical what changes do you need to make to then get rid of those those weaknesses in your organization and make them better and that should be number one goals is getting rid of all those weaknesses that are in your organization and then obviously the opportunities what is out there that you could potentially go after now warning here this is not shiny objects this is not squirrel squirrel and looking like that. You don't want to do that. You want to look at real relevant opportunities that fit with your model and your business because you don't want to go off in too many different things because then your uh, strengths are now going to become weaknesses and your opportunities will become weaknesses and it's just going to blow up in the new year. And then of course you want to look at your threats. So who's out there? What's going on? What could potentially derail you from getting to your goal? Now you have all this planned out. Now you need to come up with some goals. So very simple. Where do I need to be in 12 months? Where do I need to be in six months to reach my 12 month goal? Three months. And then I love those 90 days because so much can happen in the 90 days. And then you can break that down into monthly, weekly, daily goals. What are the activities that you need to do to drive results? Because that's really what it's about. Because if you're doing things that aren't getting a result, then why are you doing them in the first place? Is it just to be busy? I'm sorry, but I just don't want to be busy all the time. I want to be doing something that makes a difference and provides my employees with a business that they can be proud of as well. So there is your planning tips and tricks for this new year. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So if you did and you want to put a comment below, I'd appreciate that. You can write me as well. Tom at TomJacobs.com. You can go to my website. I give you a bunch of free stuff there too. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. Every week you will see some new videos up here on how you can make your business even better than it is already. Take care. <laughs>